Side chaining is not possible in GarageBand iOS, or at least it wasn't until Audioscope came along. Yes, thanks to the Audioscope plugin, we can now side chain between two different tracks in GarageBand iOS. It's really simple to do, and in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today. Yes, the Audio Scope plugin is here, and as well as all the other cool things it does, which you can check out in the video link below, we have the ability to use side chain compression, which is that really cool pumping effect that's usually used between a kick drum and a bass track. And that's what we've got set up in this project. Let's go back to the start and show you how you can do this too. So I've set up a very basic four track project here in GarageBand, and it sounds like this. So not bad, but that bass is a little bit intense. I would really like to get that nice ducking, pumping effect on that bass. And that's what we can do with some side chaining. To set this up, let's first select the kick drum, tap on our plugins button here and go to plugins and EQ. Hit the edit button, look for one of these green pluses and tap on that one. Go to audio unit extensions and audio scope. Now you will have to purchase the audio scope plugin. It's around 10 to $15, depending where you are in the world. And as I mentioned in the intro, it does a whole bunch of things. It does EQing, it does mixing. You've got some shelf in there. You've got the ability to do a bunch of stuff. And there's a complete video down in the description if you want to learn more. Now, to make things easy, I suggest naming as you go along. So here it says Audioscope 01. But if we tap on this one, we can actually rename this to Kick. So we're going to type in Kick and hit the Set button. Now we can hit done. And what I would also recommend is hitting the edit button and moving this to the very bottom of your plugin chain. That's just gonna make sure that if you use this as a compressor or especially a limiter, that it's not gonna interfere with your other plugins. Now we need to do the same for our bass. So let's tap on the bass track, hit the edit button, hit the plus button, go to audio unit extensions, tap on audio scope. Now we can tap on that icon once again. And this time we're gonna name this one bass hit the set button, hit done, and we're good to go. So we've now got audio scope on that one and that one. Let's just move that to the bottom like we did the other one as well. And we're ready to start side chaining. Let's now tap on the audio scope button here and you can see we can select between the kick and the bass. Now we want to select the bass here because that's what we want to side chain. We want to tap on compressor here. Now you can use this as a standard compressor, but you'll notice that in the bottom right here, we have this side chain option. So let's tap on that one and tap on kick. Now this compression is going to be based on when the kick drum kicks in and this is what creates that cool pumping sound or ducking sound that you get with your bass. Let's hit play and as I bring this threshold down, you'll hear that the bass starts ducking as the kick drum starts kicking. You can hear there that the lower we drag that threshold, the more we get that ducking sound. So you can have just a very subtle kind of ducking effect by bringing the threshold up here. Or if you want a more extreme ducking sound, you can bring it all the way down and get something like this. And you can hear there that the bass is almost non-existent when it's actually got the kick drum kicking in. Now you've got some makeup gain here, so you can bring the gain up here if you want the bass to have a little bit more oomph because compression will reduce the volume. We can get something like this. which really makes the bass come through. That's probably a little bit too loud. And you've even got your ratio control down here. So if you want a bit more of a subtle compression on your side chaining, you can drop that one there and you won't have as much of that compression happening. Now you can side chain any two tracks together. It works well with kick and with your bass, but it works with a lot of other instruments as well. So you can experiment more with this and you can change your attack and your release here as well. And remember, there's that video linked in the description if you want to learn a whole lot more about the awesome app that is Audioscope. 